This is End of Nations Warfront, season one finale. Hey everybody, my name is Cole Marshall and welcome to the season finale of End of Nations Warfront. Last week we asked you for your opinions about the show and you gave us a lot of awesome feedback. And in the second season, we're gonna be working on implementing all of your radical ideas. So stay tuned for February where we're coming back at you with all the exclusive content you can possibly need for End of Nations. Today we're taking a look at capture points and the keys to winning or losing a battle, and we have an announcement for the next Art of War topic on our forums. We're designing End of Nations with a unique capture point system. There are three types of capture points, landing zone, resource, and victory points. What's an RTS without a domination mode? I don't know. But at End of Nations, capturing victory points will lead you to victory. Holding resource points allows you to call in reinforcements, purchase tactical structures, and use awesome abilities to swing the tide of the battle. With landing zones, you'll be able to deploy your units further up the map to get them into the action a lot quicker. Many points allow you to build your abilities, unlock super weapons, and other buffs. Certain points are specific to certain maps, while others are upgradable and give you an advantage in battle. How you choose to attack and control capture points is up to you. Your style of play and company builds will help determine your capture strategy. Are you a fan of unit abilities, or are they too overwhelming? This week in the Art of War Forum, Mill Eric is asking, unit abilities, to have or to not have? Sound off your opinions on the forums. That wraps up this season of End of Nations Warfront. We'll be back in February with all kinds of new info, including what's in this mug. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. My name is Cole Marshall. See you guys later.